on that. Do you know what that is? Is it a dragon? I see a seahorse. 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 Cute. That is, I mean, that's. That is How about working with Matt Smith? Was that an easy partnership? Oh my God, I love him. I absolutely love him. I love him. I love him. If Matt hadn't become an actor, he would have been a footballer instead. Matt had a lot of talent on the field, but a back injury got in the way of him turning professional. About you, there was like, it's so wonderful watching Philip in this season because you, you... Don't you... say something nice about me. <laughs> oh, he hates it. Okay, I'll stop. Stop. Matt is very clumsy, off and on set. He's so bad that some film crews take bets on how long it takes for him to break a prop. Yeah, my, one she came and like kissed up my sort of bottom up, didn't did she? Did she? Well, did I was. Kiss your bottom? Well, if she didn't kiss my bottom, but she was near my bottom. <laughs> and then never went in. So. Your bottom came out of it. The worst job Matt's ever had to do was working as a glass collector. On his first day, he had to clean vomit off a carpet. Matt's sister Laura was one of the dancers in the music video for Eric Pride's Call On Me. Matt still has the same group of friends he grew up with in Northampton, England. Are you slightly embarrassed? Oh <laughs> no, what are you going to say? By your really bad taste in music. <laughs> no! Wait a minute. I... I... <laughs> Matt loves music and is an avid collector of records. He also enjoys playing the guitar. Matt's favorite band is Radiohead, but he believes Oasis to be the greatest rock and roll band in the world. Matt initially wasn't excited about the idea of a Game of Thrones prequel, but when he heard Paddy Considine, who plays King Viserys, was part of the cast, he changed his mind. It took about an hour and a half for Matt to put on his Prince Daemon wig for House of the Dragon. We see Philip's um, bottom. Rearing. Bottom, exactly. Yeah. Woo! Yes. We do see Philip's bottom, yes. For an extended period of time. Yes. Twice. Twice. <laughs> Twice. Yeah, yeah. Matt's earliest memory is getting his head cracked open when he was three. He fell under a pirate swing and ended up with 24 stitches. Matt doesn't like his ears. He thinks they're too big, and he used to get teased about them when he was a kid. They're my real ears. How are they? They're my real ears. I was teased as a child. It was Matt's drama teacher who pushed him towards an acting career. He signed him up for different plays, but for a long time, Matt didn't show up. Very good. I mean, who's got the biggest trailer? We're next We're door to each other. We are next door to each other, aren't we? You must always hear me going for a wee. All the time. Oh, no. <laughs> it's true, though. Of course I do. I'm... Matt's strangest encounter with a fan was when a girl told him he looks like her pet hedgehog. When Matt was asked about his favorite animal, he had four. His favorites are the llama, otter, badger, and the golden eagle. We see Philip's um, bottom. Rearing. Bottom, exactly. Yeah. Woo! Yes. We do see Philip's bottom yes. for an extended period of time. Yes. Twice. 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 Yeah, yeah. Matt prefers to find his way around without the help of virtual maps and is not a fan of apps in general. When it comes to fashion, Matt opts for bold socks. He says they make any outfit better. This man has one of the most disgusting personalities I've ever encountered. He's rude, he's narcissistic, he can't read. Would I like to hang out with him? No. Would I sleep with him? <sighs> yeah, big time. Yeah, big time. Matt was not happy about the number of love scenes he had to film for House of the Dragon. Matt got seriously injured during filming earlier this year. He still gets physiotherapy for a disc in his neck after performing a stunt on House of the Dragon. If having a normal conversation um, without a fear of... Shut up! Let's hear my talk! Let me, let me do that. If he had to choose any five people to invite to a dinner party, 
Matt would bring Albert Einstein, Frank Sinatra, Marilyn Monroe, Eric Antona, and Jennifer Lawrence. We're just having a normal they're, they're, conversation. Yeah. <laughs> We're just having a normal conversation. We're just having a normal conversation. Oh, will you shut up? <laughs> Come on. Matt's favorite movies are Notting Hill and Four Weddings and a Funeral. He also loves any film starring Elizabeth Shue. If he had a time machine like in Doctor Who, Matt would go back to visit the dinosaurs. If there's one ritual Matt subscribes to, it's having to touch something red when he sees a Royal Mail van. Yes, sir. Yes, While he's no longer a footballer, Matt enjoys spending every weekend watching the game. Matt is a massive supporter of the football team Blackburn Rovers. Ah, I think, um, nice I to think, meet you. I think you look really weird when you fall asleep in makeup oh, in the mornings. Oh, you weren't even there. Matt's top four books include The BFG, The Master and Margarita, American Psycho, and A Million Little Pieces. If you've been wondering whether Matt has read Fire and Blood, he hasn't managed to finish it yet. Matt was considered for the role of the Joker in 2016's Suicide Squad. Yeah. <laughs> and how about working with Matt Smith? Was that an easy partnership? Oh my God, I love him. I absolutely love him. I love him. I love him. Matt is the youngest actor to have ever played the Doctor in Doctor Who. He was 26 when he was cast in the role. After dinner. Did you enjoy it, yeah, Did you enjoy it? That's the question. Because he is a good-looking man. Oh, thank you. He is. You're looking, you're looking presentable. I never get that. Matt kept the costume he wore on Doctor Who. Before gracing our screens in House of the Dragon, Matt recently played a pimp in Last Night in Soho and a vampire in Morbius. And this weird mermaid man, because he's wearing a bow tie. Do you know that I love mermaids? Mermaid in a bow tie. It's like Christmas come at once. <laughs> Matt doesn't have any social media accounts because he doesn't like the idea of spending too much time on his phone. Matt's favorite song is This Guy's In Love With You by Herb Alpert. So what kind of bad tastes does he have? <laughs> does he like bad cars? Does he like bad magazines? No, it's quite like, annoyingly really cool, cool, actually, yeah. He kind of, you know, good music and can suggest brilliant films, so he's kind of like the go-to guy for that kind of thing. Really yeah. ridiculously good chin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the best advice Matt has ever received was from his dad. Matt's father always told him, time is an imposition on one's dignity. Don't let it worry you. Who is the best kisser? Yeah. Uh, oh. How do you compare that one? I don't know. Don't do it now. That'll yeah, be yeah. No. <laughs> 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 I'm going to say me. Like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Matt. 